The decision to move a loved one to hospice care is not an easy one, and it can take a toll on the whole family. Well, this weekend, a local hospice wants to honor the lives lost and honor the caregivers that have given so much time to help their loved ones as well. Sheila Jones and Melissa Hyatt are here from Mountain Valley Hospice to tell us all about the night of a thousand lights events coming up this Saturday evening. And when we talk about a thousand lights, that is a thousand patients that you helped in this past year. We are very excited to be able to celebrate those patients. You know, when a patient enters hospice care, their entire family becomes part of our family. Mm -hmm. And when looking for an event to produce a community event, we thought that was the most fitting thing is to have a family reunion type event to celebrate those folks' lives. And when you think about it too, I mean, the families, you help take care of, just not the patient, but the entire family the as entire well. entire family as mm -hmm. a whole. Yeah, because yeah. it's so important with, with so many things going on with those families at that time. Yeah. So this event is going to be a first for you, correct? Yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the overall plan right now. <laughs> okay, the event takes place in Fisher River Park at the Edward Jones Amphitheater over in Dobson. Um, this, as I said, is like a large family reunion. We'll have music, we'll have um, lots of games for kids, a silent auction, we'll have lots of hospice information, food trucks, just a fun day in the park. Wow, and you're also honoring caregivers. Is that safe to say too? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. They're very much a part of the care team, um, and they're the ones that keep it going. Yes. They're there 24/7, and and then you know trying to help those you know remember and recognize that what they went through was a battle, and we want to honor that, and and you know and thank them for allowing us to be the ones to serve. Oh, so Absolutely. And you got some great uh, pr prizes uh, that should be given away as well uh, during the auction, solid auction, live auction. Mm -hmm. Look at these really sweet chairs. Tell us about these rocket chairs. You got nine of these. You're gonna be. We have nine rocking chairs. Those rocking chairs originated from the front porch of the Joan and Howard Waltz Hospice Home. They were original to the home when we opened 10 years ago. Wow. It was time to replace them, and we wanted to do something, you know, that t to increase yeah. the longevity of them, but not only be able to pass that on. So we took those chairs, um, offered them up to local artists for them to be able to produce a work of art, and each one of them are different. So we're excited about that, that we could refurbish that chair and be able to enhance hospice care even more by the proceeds that come from them. Yes, and speaking of proceeds, how does this help your mission as hospice care? We are a nonprofit, um, 501c3, so we love that we can take care of a patient whether the, they have the ability to pay or not. Um, so it doesn't matter what insurance they have or if they don't, we provide the care. So we still get to be able to say that. And proceeds from this event will help us cover and offset that cost. Oh, gotcha. And a couple real quick as well. we got these items as well. That you brought us some jewelry and a beautiful wreath. Just a lot of great items that you'll be auctioning off. This All list. types of fun stuff, from lawn care stuff to wine baskets, wreaths, as you see, and then of course the nine rocking chairs. So we're excited. Oh, I think the auction will be a lot of fun. And there's something for everyone. And it doesn't have to be a family that has been uh, served Correct. by hospice. Anybody can come to this. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff for kids. It's gonna be a lot of fun with the, with the bouncy house, the kids play zone. I'm gonna there's gonna that. be several of those <laughs> things. I'm excited Lots about that. Lots of good entertainment for some local bands and. Um, some local speakers, some of our um, staff entertainment. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah, That's sounds great. like a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, well we appreciate y'all so yes. much and thank you for stopping by. And I'm very honored to be the MC of the event yes. coming up this Saturday. So hopefully you'll come on out and say hello to all of us and participate, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, the event is happening Saturday at Fisher River Park, right there in Dobson from four until nine. My mom was like, oh, this is